These are game winners you must see to believe. First up, Maxi Kleba makes the biggest shot of his career. They're trying to set a screen. Kleba sets a screen for Irving. Pinson looking. Got the ball to Kyrie. Under duress. Kyrie on the move. Darts to his right. And he makes a pass. Kleba to beat the buzzer and win the game. And if that gives you chills, wait until you see Russell Westbrook. KD going to give it to Ibaka at the elbow, off the heel of the iron. Rebound, change by Oklahoma City. Westbrook is But 2013 Russ isn't the only one making big-time plays. Miles is going to impound to Malik Monk. They trap him in the corner. Monk throws it away. OKK sends it in, and we're tied at 123. No timeouts here for the Kings. Fox, two, Fox from midcourt. Got it! De'Aaron Fox called game! De'Aaron Fox silencing the Amway Center crowd. Dang, that's cold-blooded. But up next, Jason Tatum shows fans why he's one of the best in the world. Bounce pass Tatum. Tatum puts up a three. Tatum from downtown. One point three remaining. No timeouts left for Philadelphia. Oh! Oh! No, they say no good. Came after the buzzer. And the Celtics win a thriller. Jeez. Time is not on Joel and B's side. However, the same can be said for Trey Young during his playoff year. Because against the Celtics, the Hawks found themselves seconds away from a gentleman's sweep. It was either put up or shut up. Five to two. Young. Let's it go! Oh! Woo! Ice cold! Man, bro's a straight-up assassin, but so is Isaac Okoro, because when his team desperately needed a bucket, bro came to play. Mitchell to tie, short, got his own miss, put it up again, eight seconds to go, still loose, Levert, shot clock off, Levert, cross-court, Okoro, If Ray Allen was watching, just know he'd be proud, but not as proud as Jimmy Butler is about to be. To win it in regulation. Hero with three. Hero with two. Hero gets it off for the win. Yes! 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 Happy New Year, Tyler Hero and the Heat. They win it as time expires in Salt Lake. Between Tyler Hero and Jimmy Buckets, there's no stopping the Miami Heat in the clutch. But then again, on any given night, anyone could be a hero. Even R.J. Barrett. Finds Barrett. Get a shot up. This is for the win. Oh! It's good! Off the window! R.J. Barrett wins it for the next! Now, that's what you call a New York state of mind. But Andrew Wiggins must also have that New York state of mind. The only difference, he brought it with him to OKC. 4.7 seconds. Gibson's got to get it in. Does. Wiggins drives across midcourt. Andrew lets it fly at the buzzer for the win. Andrew Wiggins backs it in. And the Timberwolves, an unbelievable win. Which takes us from Maple Jordan to the truth, a.k.a. Paul Pierce. Wind up. Beal against Baysmore. Here comes Pierce with five seconds left. Pierce with three. Pierce with two. Pierce fall away at the horn. It's gone! How many 30-year-olds you know can do that? On the other hand, you may not have heard of Tyler Eulis. Well, at least until now. Let's go puts it up and in. Ties it up with four seconds to go. Thomas loses the ball, a chance to win, Eulis, goal! Unbelievable, Tyler Eulis! Marquise Chris is the guy that knocked the ball. Wow, five points in under 10 seconds? That's mad impressive. Although the word impressive doesn't even begin to describe Luka Doncic. Richardson the defender, here's that little hop. He takes it. Oh, are you great. kidding me? Are you kidding me? Shot that to the jumbo truck. At this point, I'm torn. Who's actually the better player right now? Luca or Joker? You tell me. And yet Matt Barnes once hit a game winner from 50 feet away. Wow, 
I did not see that coming. And I'm willing to bet you also didn't see this coming. OJ Mayo. Mayo. Off balance. OJ Mayo. Oh, my goodness. Can you believe that? 1.5 seconds. No timeouts. Tyreek. Tyreek. At the hole. Between Matt Barnes and Tyreek Evans, I'm starting to think half-court shots are normal. But make no mistake, game winners are anything but normal. That is, unless your name is Kobe freaking Bryant. Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! And the Lakers win the game! bro got clamped and still found the bottom of the net. But now let's transition from Kobe to LeBron James because it's hard to discuss LeBron's legacy without bringing up his championship in the NBA bubble. In which case, he couldn't have done it without this guy. Trying to disrupt Rondo. He puts it in. Here's Davis. 4-3 in the win. Oh, it's good! Anthony Davis has won it for the Lakers! Anthony Davis! Well, I be damned. No wonder Darvin Ham adds AD to shoot more threes. That said, 13 years before AD's game winner, Gilbert Arenas turned into a stone cold killer. Agent Zero checks the clock. Gilbert for the win. Got another one! He is amazing! Gilbert Arenas! Celebrating before the shot goes in? That's next level confidence. Although, does it get any more confident than Dwayne Wade? Right here for the heat. Wade, Wade with, with the a steal, with two. Wade puts it up for the win. Yeah, baby! He did it! He did it! Dwayne Wade with the steal and the game winner! Yeah, I didn't think so. Yet, D Wade has also suffered his fair share of heartbreak. This is Green for the win! First, the inbounds pass, then the shot. You can't draw it up any better. But not every game winner has to be a crazy three-pointer. Just ask 15-year veteran Josh Smith. Johnson. Johnson on the run. Slammed in by Smith. Does it count? Yes, it does. That is a terrific athletic play by John Smith. That putback dunk went hard. But what you're about to see next, buckle up. What kind of look is it going to be? As a wise Kenny the Jet Smith once said, it's over, ladies and gentlemen. But now it's time to direct your attention to Game 5 of the 2004 playoff series between the Lakers and Spurs. Because with time winding down, you'll never guess who shot the game's final shot. Spoiler alert, it wasn't Kobe or Tim Duncan. They get it to Fisher. So it's so close. It's very close. What's the luck? Ball has to be out of his hands. Ball's out. Yeah, it's out of his hands. Wow. It's good. Yo, that's one crazy shot. Which reminds me, now that we've reached our top 10, the shots are about to get a whole lot crazier. Starting with one of the luckiest game winners you'll ever see. Siakam disrupts it. Lamb has to throw it up. After that shot, only four words come to mind. Good golly, Miss Molly. But next up, it's the man that never quits. Because after a torn ACL and torn meniscus, Derrick Rose did the unthinkable. Looking, finds Rose. Rose trying to get open, fires away. Bang! It's over! The Bulls win at the buzzer! It still is a madhouse on Madison as Derrick Rose nails the three. If D. Rose can do that, then the real question is, what can't be done? After all, Jamal Crawford got me thinking anything is possible. If that's what you call a roller coaster, then I don't ever want to get off. Which reminds me, Damian Lillard is practically the definition of a roller coaster ride. Because in 2019, Dame made one of the most clutch shots known to mankind. To send the thunder home. Lillard, long range three. And it's good! At the buzzer! Damian Lillard! Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Look at that shot. To put them out, he went for 50 points. 
That said, everyone remembers Dame's infamous shot against OKC, but yet, people forget that five years earlier, the stakes were even higher. Because this time, the Trailblazers were trying to change history, win against the Rockets, and they'd win their first playoff series in over a decade. Good. Lopez tried to keep it. Parsons scores! Oh, With nine tenths left, somehow he found it! Nine tenths left. A three wins the series. It's Lillard. He got the shot off. Lillard got However, if you had to pick, would you rather go against Dame in the playoffs or Kawhi? It's off the Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is this the dagger? Not gonna lie, if Dame and Kawhi ever teamed up, it would be game over. But as crazy as that shot was, Steph Curry gives it a run for his money. Have a timeout. Decide not to use it. Curry, way downtown. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry with six tenths of a second remaining. Don't worry, Mike Breen, we're also in disbelief. All that to say, these final three game winners are next to impossible. But if we've learned anything so far, it's that scene is believing. Because at number three, all hope seemed to be lost for the Brooklyn Nets until this happened. Gets it into Harris. Harris thought it was five. Harris scores! It appeared he got it off on time. Let's see. No indication. I think he got it off on time. Sheesh, this man lost the ball mid-air just to make the greatest shot of his life. But what if I told you that our next moment is twice as crazy? See, on December 15, 2021, fans didn't just witness one amazing shot, they witnessed two. Is he going to get there? Got a foul. And they do. He fouled him. He fouled him. Garrett Temple tried to foul him. Didn't get him. And give Shea Gilgis Alexander credit as Devontae sends it. Oh! Just when you think the game is over, the NBA scriptwriters throw us all for a loop. But two years earlier, on November 23rd, 2019, fans got to witness an even better ending. Because if we know anything about sports, is that nothing beats a good underdog story. And in a matchup between the Bulls and the Hornets, the Bulls were precisely that, the underdogs. Down eight with a minute to go, Hornets fans were already starting to leave the arena. But then, Zach Levine decided to change everything. And in a blink of an eye, this game was flipped on his head. To Kobe. Need a shot, need some points quickly. Sato for three. Oh, big three by Sato. Mm, they get some defense here. They got a steal. Got it right back. The Bulls with another chance. Levine. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Stop it, Zach Levine. Oh, my goodness. 16 points in the final minute, a last second three, and a victory? If this is a dream, someone better wake up the Chicago Bulls. But while one dream is coming to an end, another is about to begin. So if you enjoyed the ride, click the video on your screen. And if you do, just know Zach Levine will be proud.